I slept with my son's friend and my son cut contact with me. Four years later he wants to meet up. I had my son at the age of 21 years old. His father passed away two years later. So it was me and my son against the world. When it comes to my dating life, I haven't been so lucky. I did have some random one night stands here and there and very short term relationships throughout my son's childhood. In the beginning of my son's senior year, he brought a friend home. Let's call him Max. He was basically at our house every other weekend. I was really happy because my son doesn't have a lot of friends. He usually keeps to himself. I really liked Max as a person. He was a real sweet guy. We had nice, short conversations whenever he was at our place. We exchanged numbers just in case. He would start sending me messages and jokes. I would respond back. My son didn't mind at all. After four months of coming to our house, Max texts me he wants to meet up for coffee out of nowhere. I texted him if it was something urgent or about my son. He responded by saying it's something important. I was curious, so I decided to meet up with him. When I met up with him, he looked very nervous. I asked him what the meeting was about. He told me I can't tell my son about it. He then confessed to me that he was developing feelings for me. I was taken aback by this. I told him that while I was flattered, I had to think about my son. He pleaded with me to just give him a chance. It was so long that I found somebody interested in me like that. Max was already 18 when he was introduced to me and he was a very handsome man. I said yes, but with the condition that it would be only casual dating and my son doesn't have to know about it. We met up the next week at his place. I told my son I was going out with my friends. After an hour into the date, we slept with each other. Then we promised to meet up in the near future. Our meetups became very frequent, and as such, our relationship grew stronger. I was beginning to fall in love with Max. We learned more about each other. Max was becoming my main source of joy. I wanted the weekend to start early just to be with Max. It was hard for me to pay attention to anything else in my life. Looking back, it seems that my relationship with Max had a negative effect on the relationship with my son. I had to come up with different excuses on why I wasn't around. I missed out on his soccer games. I think I really messed up when I missed his birthday dinner because I was with Max. I told him that work held me up. It was a week before my son's flight to college, that I got a text from Max that my son found out about us. I got it in the middle of work. I was scared to go back home. When my son arrived home he never uttered a word about the situation. He just pretended that nothing ever happened. He seemed very cold to me, never looked at me in the eye and gave one word responses. When it came to dropping him off, he didn't even give me a hug or even look back at me when it was time for the flight to even wave goodbye. When I drove back home, Max's car was in my driveway. It was the first time I saw him ever since I got that text from him. I saw he had a black eye and a broken nose when he stepped out of his car. We hugged each other tightly. I cried in his arms. Once we stepped in my house I told him how bad I felt for what I did to my son. The worst part I wasn't sad my son was leaving but relieved instead. Max comforted me in saying he's just as much at fault for this situation. Max stayed that night. The next day, he proposed to me. I accepted. It's been four years now. Max and I have a two-year-old daughter. He works as a mechanic. The airport was the last time I saw my son. He blocked me on everything. I asked his grandparents if he ever contacted them. His grandfather told me that my son told them everything. He said he will take care of my son, but he told me to never contact my son or them again. Two days ago, I got a call from my son that he's going to be in town and he wants to meet up in person this Friday. I said yes.